Time for part five. Model build. Apollo. 1 to 144. I've been out of town all week. I actually have a little jet lag. So my hands aren't steady. But here's what was waiting. She dried nice. All the little doodads came on nicely. All the lines and seams came up beautifully. It looks a whole lot more slick than it is. Um, it dried. No, I like the way it dried. So, I've been downloading tons and tons of videos and things. These were all not done exactly the same. So, they, I'm kind of attracted to the Apollo 8. I'm sure everybody builds the, the 11. But the 8 actually had black. See the silver conings down here? They were actually black. And then the, the fins were black and silver. Then there really wasn't any rhyme or reason to the paint job from there. But this is her. So, the next step really is to kind of follow the instructions on doing the, the build, the paint job. And then of course I've got the different um, base. But let me show you what the instructions look like on how to paint this. Here we go. There's the instructions. So it's just kind of like looking straight down at the base. Then you go to the second stage and how that was done. And then the ring. And then the third stage. And those are the thrusters down there on the very main engines, the J1s, F1s. So that's kind of where we are. Will I get to it today? No. I'll probably get her taped up and start on the bottom. Or maybe I should start on the top. I don't know. I'm going to use my airbrush. Anyway, I thought I'd let you know. So this kind of gives you the scale. Where's that little guy? There he is. So, yeah, 36 stories. So I've been diet, downloading a ton of stuff on her on the Saturn V, and uh, most of it's black and white, so it doesn't really help. But anyway, there you go. I think the next step is the paint job, and then maybe put this little piece together here, where it opened up and the limb would come out. And I've already got everything pre-painted ready to go. So there you go. I will talk to you guys later.